Well hello into people, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing okay. Now today's video is a Q&A but slightly different because I've picked out all of my YouTube related questions that you guys have sent me. And the first question I think is probably the best place to start off this Q&A. Any tips for someone wanting to start a YouTube channel? One of the things that I would tell all of you is if you're wanting to start a YouTube channel I would definitely consider what you're going to talk about with regards to your YouTube channel, you know, what kind of topics or topic are you going to talk about? Because I didn't have that when I first started. Literally, I started uploading random content for the sake of uploading random content. You know, because I've never done video work, I've never done video editing or anything like that. I just wanted to do something that was different and it was for me. That was all I was thinking about, honestly, and I didn't really think about the actual subjects I was going to talk about. I talked about different things. I did comedy stuff, I did some more serious things and over time I started talking about autism on the channel and just from my own experiences because people seem to really connect with that and I really enjoyed helping people. I do enjoy helping people generally so that's how the channel's now autism focused but really when you're starting a YouTube channel I think it's always good having to sit down with yourself and figure it out exactly what you want to do. If you're focused in what you're talking about then people will understand what they are coming to you to see really because at the end of the day YouTube is about the people who are watching your videos. Yes it's about obviously making content because you love making content but you know, because obviously we all are on limited time. For me personally, this is something I always try to think of when I'm creating videos, is really respecting the person's time who is watching, you know, and giving them value in what they are viewing, if that makes sense. Definitely another tip would definitely be having a good place to film. Now, I have just realized that I'm not actually square. I'm actually on an odd angle, which is not very good in all honesty but these are the things that you should consider you know making sure that you are in a proper setup like a good place to film your setup correctly so you're not on an angle like i just was having good lighting is always good having good audio as well also really really helps but also another thing i would say when you're starting out on youtube is really to understand how youtube fundamentally works so there's youtubers like nick nimmin brian g johnson creator fundamentals who i'll leave links for down below because they have been a incredible resource for me as a creator this person asked what is the meaning behind your channel name i love indie music that was one reason why i had indie as the beginning part of the channel name and for me i've always seen this youtube channel as my own indie project you know my own little indie project in a small corner of the internet that's the second thing and then thirdly i've only really thought about this as the channel has grown and you know people have seen the channel and commented and things like that it really is a place for people to be themselves you know for people to come and not feel judged, not feel like they're different from anyone else, you know. That's what I personally love about YouTube, you know. I love it when we're all speaking the same language effectively, even though we have different life experiences and we come from different places and, you know, we're we're all at different ages. That, to me, is a sign of independence. It's a sign of someone being independent for themselves and just showing off their uniqueness and who they are really now next question is would you start a vlog channel i'm not sure is the honest answer as much as i love talking online i really like putting myself out there in you know our space like this space i just the the idea of you know doing vlogs on a daily basis you know just doing vlogs outside of here like out and about it really terrifies me personally like i'm not the most comfortably sociable person in the world when it comes to outside here and the thought of vlogging outside all of the time it's just not something i feel incredibly comfortable with and then the next question kind of ties in with the last one would you ever do daily videos even if it was just five videos or a month i don't have the time <laughs> if it's something special like world autism awareness week which is obviously because i'm autistic and this is an autism channel is 
a really good time to do that. It's, you know, it's special and it's significant for me. Unless it's special and significant, I don't see the point of uploading daily. And plus, just because you upload more doesn't mean you're going to get much more anything really that's just how i see it anyway how do you handle bullies on youtube it's a very interesting question because when i first started i used to get really upset about people not liking what i was doing or saying hurtful things about me personally like oh you're the this or you're that you know i'm doing youtube because i want to be on benefits for the rest of my life that was one that was very very interesting like i'm 27 and yes i look very young thank you very much but uh no like yeah people in the, on the internet can be horrible and that's just the internet you know but when people are just generally being nasty without any context and don't even know you that's where i'm like whoa 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 chili beef calm down you know take a breath mint you know go outside just because i'm talking publicly on the internet you know it doesn't mean i don't get affected by things you know we're all human at the end of the day but yeah just generally being a nasty person on the internet just doesn't cut it for me it's just not nice so just don't do it just be respectful of each other just be nice to each other we can all have different opinions but at the end of the day you know we should be able to respect each other enough for having different opinions you know we don't all need to be sheep we can all have our own opinions we can all do our own thing and you know we should all just be able to come online and just enjoy watching people you know talking to people in a respectful way that's just what i think and really when it comes to bullies if it gets too much block and delete report comments and things if people are like you're leaving comments and someone's leaving nasty stuff on comments on youtube you can report them you you can report the channel as well don't focus on the negative the negative can just stay over there in a nice little box come over to the positive side and just just be nice to each other that's all i really gotta say next question is what's the main challenge you face when you're preparing video content i think the main challenge for me um, I don't know if anyone else has talked about this in the autism YouTuber community. It's that thing of making content for yourself versus making content for the people who are watching. You overthink like what people who are watching want you to make. Um, so really when it comes to that sort of thing now, I tend to think what would I personally want to watch as someone on the spectrum like what would I personally want to see and having that kind of mindset has actually really helped and actually the videos that I have made where I've had that mindset tend to do a lot better instead of me thinking right what do my audience like people who are watching the videos want to see you know I think if you're making videos on a regular basis you know and you know you start gaining momentum that's one of the things that does stress you out it's about finding that balance personally what i try to remember when i'm making videos from my perspective you know if it's something that i really want to do that i think would make a good video is really to lead with value like i personally hate it when youtubers waste my time you know when i watch a video i expect to know what the video is about first of all and you know at the end of it i want to feel like i've gained something from that video whether it's something new or i've learned about a different perspective of something you know i, I want to come onto youtube and feel like i've actually learned something but the main thing for me to remember and what i try to do with the videos generally is lead with value and respect people's time who are watching the videos and just really just making sure that the people who are watching get something from me and you know the videos that i'm making you know that's the thing i try to think about and then the next question is what advice would you give to a younger orty starting out on youtube now if you're on the spectrum and you're looking to start a youtube channel i don't personally feel that just because you're on the spectrum means that your journey would be any different but that's just how i personally think that's just my own personal opinion on that i think people respect you more if you're just being yourself like that's what i personally think like if i start watching a youtuber or just stumble across a video and i just feel like the person's fake or 
I don't know, they're doing it for the views or doing it for the subscribers or something. It just really bugs me. It really, really gets me when like, I can just see people being fake or, you know, I feel like they're just doing it because they want fame or attention or something. That sort of thing really gets to me personally. So if you're on the spectrum, just remember that, you know, it's always good doing this, being yourself, being true to your experiences as well. If you are talking about autism or, you know, being autistic from your experience, it's always important being honest. Another bit of advice, make sure you take the time for yourself. Now, recently I took a break away from all of this. I took a week break off filming and uploading generally. I just reached that point of, I'm doing too much, I need to get away and do my own thing. Making sure you're taking the time for yourself to be able to do the things that you love is so, so, so important. It is really critical. Like. I know that I spend too much time on this, but it's a thing that I love. So it's like, it's understanding what you need to do to be able to look after yourself and then actually remembering to actually do that. As much as I love YouTube and as much as social media has really helped me with my confidence and you know, I've done so many amazing things, it's important to understand that it's not the only thing in life, you know, social media, YouTube, it's not like the be all and end all, you know, there's a whole world of opportunity out there, there's a whole, you know, opportunity of just life and just hugging trees and, you know, breathing on seagulls and throwing ice cream on people, like, you can just do so much more than just this you know just really thank you so much for your time i really do appreciate it and if you want to see more videos of mine there's some videos for you right there and like i said just thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this make sure you hit that like button but for now stay you stay indie i hope you have a great day and i hope to see you next time